Hello everyone, back with another video. This time I wanted to share with you a third grade PBL and transdisciplinary project that involved the knowledge and skills of science, social studies, design, and technology. Students were asked the following driving question. How can you, as conservationists, design a wildlife sanctuary for an endangered species? Here are the standards and the key concepts for each subject area that the project integrated. At the start of the project, our third grade teachers, John Barry, Sally Merriman, Sarah Donaldson, and Stacy Trent, explored the idea of how the government meets the needs and demands of its citizens by the process of making laws and policies that create new responsibilities, protect freedoms, and create positive change. They used this concept and took on the role of lobbyists who seek to persuade members of the government to create policies that will protect a specific endangered species and fund the creation of a wildlife sanctuary for the species. Students also learned about the endangered species that they chose to protect through nonfiction resources and used their informational writing skills to write about them. In design class with myself and Heidi Peterson, students went through the design process to create a wildlife sanctuary that is specifically designed for a particular endangered species. Using what they learned in science with Jeremy Jacobson, they developed a sanctuary that was appropriate for their species life cycle. For example, I explained that if I was to create a sanctuary for frogs, I would need to include some type of body of water because as tadpoles, they generally live in the water. This requires students to empathize with the needs of their animal that includes air, water, food, and shelter. Students also realized that the purpose of the sanctuary was not only to protect their endangered species, but to also increase their population. Using what they learned about inherited traits and the variation of traits among individuals of the same species, students designed their ideal offspring through theoretical selective breeding. Since the third graders knew that some traits gave individuals an advantage in surviving, finding mates, and reproducing, they identified which males and females would be selected for breeding to produce healthy, strong, and advantageous offspring. I used the lion as an example. I told him that I would select a male who has the darkest mane to breed because it indicates that it is in good physical condition, as well as having higher testosterone levels, which makes it aggressive and protective of its pride. Females know this, so they prefer lions with darker manes. Using a Google Slides graphic organizer, students listed the advantageous physical and behavioral traits of the female and male, and then the traits that the offspring would theoretically inherit. The sanctuary would increase its population by producing offsprings with desirable traits. In technology with Megan Godek, students learned basic programming concepts to create a virtual wildlife sanctuary using Scratch. Students then published their virtual sanctuaries and shared them to the public. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for more education videos like this. I would like to also give a special thanks to the following people for making this project possible.